In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Copic airbrush set. In the set, you're going to get an air can and then your applicator tip. And to use this, you simply just take the can and insert it to the bottom of the applicator and then just screw the can on. And then what you're going to have is, a, is an airbrush kit ready to go. There's no mess, no paint, no hoses, no compressors, no nothing. It's all in one unit and it's super easy to use. Uh, all you need is a Copic uh, air mark or a marker and there's two ends to the marker. There's a chisel tip then there's a nice fine tip. The fine tip is used for uh, when you're doing by hand and when you're not uh, using the airbrush and uh, when you use the airbrush you want to use the chisel tip and to use this, you just simply take the marker and insert it into the airbrush. And I place it in so that the chisel tip is on the top and the uh, bottom portion uh, ends up right on the uh, little compressed air uh, little hole there. And to use it, you just simply hold the can. You just use your index finger to, to lightly paint whatever you want to do. Uh, I have some swatch kits here, uh, some little pattern kits, and uh, you get five different patterns. And what you can do is you can take a feather. Let's just use a feather for this one. We just lay it on our table here, and I'm just going to simply lay the, f the feather flat over the pattern. And I just simply color the feather. What you end up is kind of a pattern on this feather. You can see it, it's very subtle. I'm using an orange marker here. And you can use different colors. All you have to do, there's, like I said, no paint, no mess. If you want to switch to red, simply just grab a red marker, insert it into the can, and again, you're, you're ready to go with red. Let's say you want to paint a fly. You can just lay your fly down nice and flat and whatever whatever pattern you want to use let's do a little bit of a larger pattern here I'm just gonna lay the pattern over the fly I want to kind of have some red red bar patterns on this fly so I just simply lay it down And I have this really light barring pattern on my fly. And then let's say you want to put a little green on the top of it. Or brown, you can do whatever you want. We'll do a little bit of, a little bit of green here. Here we go. And I just put a little green strip right on the top of the fly. You can just barely hold down the button if you just want to be real accurate with it. See nice green top to the fly. Very, very easy to use. Uh, literally anybody can use it, whether you're an artist or not. I am definitely no artist. It's very easy to use. These markers are permanent as well, so it's not like they're going to wash off or rub off on you. Uh, once you apply them to a fly or a material, they are permanent. They will not come off. So really, really cool stuff. Um, the Copic Airbrush Kit, you can find it on our website, in the riffle. Dot com. Uh, they do sell the recharge uh, bottles separately, uh, but there's quite a bit in there. If you're just doing uh, what I'm doing, just coloring materials and flies, uh, this should last you a long, long time. If you're doing heavier work, uh, then you might need to get an extra can just in case you run out. We have the Copic markers uh, on the website as well, all the different colors, as well as the coloring uh, patches, and you can find all those on our website in theriffle.com.